Hey everyone, good to see you again here. I'm feeling really well. The surgery went well and I will talk about it in more detail soon. Uh, but today I wanted to show you a quick grocery haul. I shared on my Instagram that I just got my grocery delivery today and then asked if you guys wanted to see the grocery haul and uh, so far the answer is 100% yes. So I thought I will do that now before I put everything away. This is what we ordered. Now it's a little different from usual because our freezer broke. I think because of the big temperature changes and the freezer was in our barn and it has been really really cold for a few weeks and then the last week it suddenly became quite warm again like really spring weather so I guess that was too much now it stopped working so usually we order a lot of bread that goes in the freezer as well as meat and uh, frozen veggies but we couldn't do that today and my husband is looking for a new freezer but yeah, before we have it, it will be a few weeks, so we just have to go to the grocery store more often or order a few times more than is possible as well. But I will show you everything that I have here. So here we have celery. I am making chicken soup today, so that will go in the chicken soup after I film this video. And then, and then three of these packages with dried mango. The children love this very much. Sometimes I put this in uh, Victor's snack container for school But at home they eat it sometimes as well. Then here is garlic I put that in most of our meals whether it is pasta or soup and then here we have Brussels sprouts and here three packages of spelt flour Whole grain spelt flour that I use for pancakes then here diapers and four packages of pasta sauce. We do eat this a lot and we make a variation on pasta so we don't use the traditional pasta. Sometimes I cook a little bit of it for the children but my husband and I like to eat um, the meat and veggies only and then we'll substitute the pasta with more veggies like zucchini pasta or broccoli rice or something. Now here I have some spices, I'll Andalus, and this will go on sweet potato that I bake in the oven, and then baharat spices to put on chicken. Then here we have raisins, some nuts and bananas. Here some kalamata olives, and they will go into a Greek salad. This is the salt we usually buy. It has iodine, and uh, I think that's a good addition, so... I prefer this over the normal salts. Here we have ketchup and extra virgin olive oil. This is a jar of mayonnaise. And then almond butter, tomatoes also for the salad, and lamb also for the salad. <laughs> and sometimes we drink this in the morning, warm lemon water. Here are some cookies for the children. And here is a sweet drink for the kids raspberry flavor and you have to dilute this stuff so we put a little bit in a cup and then add water rice crackers oat milk and this was free it was uh, we didn't order it but the store added it to our groceries and it is a pear and what is this called this flower maybe elderflower i'm not sure but it is a juice it looks good i'm curious to try it then I have two packages of mascarpone cheese and then two packages of cream. I whip this together and I add some stevia and vanilla and it makes for a delicious dessert, especially when you add berries. Now maybe you know on Friday nights we have dessert, so I make this almost every Friday night. Uh, we have also sometimes normal ice cream like this one. Now here is butter, two packages of butter, seven bell peppers in different colors. Here is cheddar cheese and mozzarella, grated mozzarella. This cheese is similar to feta and it goes in these salads or sometimes we eat it with our pasta. And then uh, normal cheese slices, red onions for the salads and normal onions for soup and other dishes. And then here we have thyme and oregano also for the salad and then leek and two cucumbers. Those are for chicken soup and those are for salad. So that was it, all our groceries. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone. And I will see you soon in a new video. Bye.